Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract a YouTube video simulation using Python and YouTube Data API. All right, so if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, or this is uh, some of the YouTube videos, and let me go into a YouTube video. Here I'll use this video, Google Maps platform, explore new horizons. So if we look at this video, we have a video title, publish date, number of views, uh, descriptions, how many likes, dislikes, and so, as well as uh, how many comments. So those are the information we can extract. And there are a couple other information that you don't see on uh, a YouTube videos page. So here, let me go into the uh, source code. So if I right click and click on view page source, and here if I search for a uh, keyword, and from this uh, keywords attribute, and under the contents, so these are the keywords this video is using. So here, let me grab uh, the keywords into a notepad. In this video, use this following uh, keywords as the uh, name text. And that's pretty useful to many YouTubers, at least if you are uh, uploading videos, if you need some ideas, or you, uh, you need some uh, inspiration on how to write different description, video title, and what keywords to use, then uh, using YouTube Data API is a pretty good uh, method to get those type of information. Before we dive into the tutorial, so I want to go over the scopes. So here on the uh, YouTube Data API documentation, if you go under guides and click on server side web, web apps and scroll down, and here are a list of scopes that the YouTube Data API uses. And I'll use the first scope, which is the uh, YouTube scope, which allows me to manage the user's YouTube account. And next, I want to talk about the quota. So when we make a request call, uh, it calls a uh, certain amount of quota. And fortunately, uh, when we extract those information, we don't need to spend a uh, very high amount of quota. So we'll be using this uh, video's resource. And under the video's resource, uh, we'll be using the list method to extract the information. It will only cause uh, one quota uh, usage. Now let's look at the uh, actual documentation. So under reference, and if you go to videos, on the list, and just the method that we'll be using. And there are a couple of ways we can extract video information. So we can provide a single video ID or multiple video IDs. And we can also extract the most popular videos based on different regions or uh, categories. We can also extract videos that we like. So when we like a video, uh, YouTube's backend actually store those information. Until so making an API request call, so here let's take a look at the parameters. So let's take a look at the part on parameter first. So we have a list of uh, parts that we can include when we extract different types of information. Content details, snippet, statistics, status, uh, those are the information we can extract from public videos. And the ID parameter, the ID parameter is basically asking for uh, video ID or video IDs. And my reading is, uh, remember what I uh, mentioned before, we can extract video information based on our like or dislike. Uh, to a uh, to a video, and below are some the optional parameters, so you can probably uh, uh go to the information on your own. Oh, and this one more thing I want to mention that so when you provide multiple video IDs, YouTube Data API cap at fifty video IDs. So if you try to pass fifty one video IDs, then you're going to get a uh, invalid request error. And with that being said, let's go into the tutorial. All right, so here's my Python code to create a YouTube API service instance. So from google.py module, uh, I'm importing the create service function. And here's the uh, variables for client secret file, API name, API version, and the scopes value that I mentioned before. And the scopes object is a list. And this line right here is the YouTube uh, API service instance creation. 
Now let me highlight the code I want to execute. And here I'm getting the YouTube service created successfully message. Now if I use the third function to print the service object, and that gives me a list of available resources that I can access. Now let's go back to the uh, Python script. So here I'll create a variable called parts. Actually, let's name this uh, parts string. And let's go back to the documentation. And here I'll access a video's content detail. So I'll grab the uh, part value, comma. I'll grab a video's uh, statistics. And snippet. So snippet basically contains uh, all the important video information, such as uh, video title, video description, text, uh, video published dates, couple other things, which we will see in a second. All right. So I was asked as uh, these three items: so content details, statistics, and snippet. Status basically uh, tells you whether or not this video is private, public, or unless. Now let's go back to the uh, Python script. And here let me grab a video ID. So I'll use one of my video ID, I guess. So let's use this, uh, the first video. So here on the top, I'm going to grab this video ID. And I'll create a variable called video IDs. If I insert in multiple videos, then you will insert a comma and you will insert another video ID. So assuming that uh, the second item is a different video ID. And when you are providing multiple video IDs in a single string, the response is going to return a list of uh, items. And here, let me uh, delete the second video ID. And once you have the parts and the video ID, you can now make a request code to uh, extract a video's information. Here I'll insert the service object dot videos dot list. And here we need to insert the execute method at the end. So here for the uh, part parameter, I'll provide part string. For the ID parameter, I'll provide the video IDs. In this case, we'll have one single video ID. And I'll pass the output as response. Now I'm going to run line 11 to line 17. Now I'm going to uh, use the pprint function to print the response object. Now let's take a look at the output real quick. So we have e tag. So e tag is basically uh, uh, kind of like a primary key that uh, YouTube data APIs uh, backend uses. So this is pretty pretty much uh, irrelevant. Now let's look at the items key. So the items key contains uh, all the video information that based on the video IDs you provide. In this case, we only provide one single video ID. So therefore, uh, from our items uh, dictionary key. And the value only contains one item. And if you provide multiple uh, video IDs, then the item is going to contain multiple uh, items. And each item is representing a dictionary format. Now let's look at the keys. So here from response object, we now want to access the items key. And want to access the first record. And which is the only rare case available. And I want to print the keys. Let me scroll to the bottom. Now, if I print the keys, and we have uh, this list of keys, the kind key uh, returns uh, what type of YouTube uh, API you are making. So, here if we look at the value to the kind uh, key, and it's returning us YouTube video, then we have snippet. And which contain all the important information, such as channel ID, uh, channel title, default audio language, and description, and localize. 
and here's the published dates. So that video is published on uh, October 5th, 2020 at 217. And here's the text that that video uses. We also have the thumbnail information. So in case if I'm interested in someone's uh, video's thumbnail, uh, you can actually access the URL to access the image file. And here we have the statistics key. So under this key, we have dislike counts, favorite counts, uh, like and view counts. Let me take a look. So this one thing I'm looking for. Oh, and here's the content details. So under content details, we have caption. Basically, uh, under content details key, all the information is basically related to a video's metadata. So here I want to extract uh, the video's uh, statistic information. So here from the first item, I want to access the statistics key. And on the statistics key, I can access uh, common count information, dislike count, uh, view count, and like count. I'm pretty sure that you cannot access favorite count information since this information is not available to the public. Now, if I run these four lines, and based on the outputs, my common count is zero for that video and zero dislike, uh, 185 views and 10 likes. Now let's try a different video. So here let me uh, use that video I was uh, looking at before. I'm going to grab the video ID. I'm going to replace this video ID with a different video ID. Now I'm going to highlight uh, line 12 to uh, line 23. I'm going to run the code. And from the outputs, that video has eight comments. So let me check. Eight comments and 97 likes and 16 dislikes. So uh, 97 likes and 16 dislikes and 4,655 views. All right, so this is I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video as well. For the next video, I'll show you how we can use YouTube Data API to extract a channel's upload videos information into Excel spreadsheet.